welcome to Life, Love, and Pop Culture. My name is Danielle Delgado, and today I am joined by Benjamin, Levi Aguilar, and Alana Ubach from Fox's Filthy Rich. Take a look. so excited. This is my first Zoom interview. 2020 has been crazy. It's thrown us a lot of curveballs. So I want to know how you guys have been able to adapt to our new normal. That's a great question. I, I, you know, I have a three-year-old and he just turned three. And when the pandemic first hit, I thought, well, we, we have a month. So why don't I try potty training him? And that was unsuccessful. And I thought, well, oh, I guess we have two or three more months for this pandemic. Let me try potty train him again. We're on to our third try for potty training. It, it's going to get to a point where I'm hoping, hoping that he could just tell me one day, Mom, I know how to flush the toilet. I know how to use it. I know what I'm doing. I've been using, to answer your question, this pandemic as, as an opportunity to potty train. Uh, well, for me, it was, um, yeah, I guess that was an opportunity to, like, when, when, when nothing's happening, your brain starts going wild. And I think that a lot of things that needed to heal were coming out. So... It was sure. the first time in a long time that I did like therapy work, and oh, it was, amazing. yeah, and it's it's been a beautiful like kind of kind of tough, you know, emotionally tough, but at, at the same time so rewarding to to actually focus on things that I had neglected from my past. Sure. Uh, right? yeah, yeah. It, it makes you think. Gosh, how many times have I sort of like you know escaped real life? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because you're busy. So you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a good time to work on yourself, right? Even without the pandemic. So it's really nice that you did that for yourself. Did it affect um, filming at all? Or did you guys already finish with the show? We had we'd wrapped by July. Well, July 13th, I believe, for me, was the last day of wrapping. And so we, we everyone left New Orleans right before the pandemic hit. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of your guys' show, you guys have to tell me a little bit about Filthy Rich. Filthy Rich, it's a, it's a, it's it's about a, it's based on a Christian family, um, mm. a very conservative billionaire family that owns a TV network, and the patriarch of that family dies in a plane accident, mm -hmm. and he leaves behind three illegitimate kids from three different women <laughs> under his will. And oh, look at that! And I, I, I play one of the illegitimate children from uh -huh. his will and so the matriarch of the family played by kim cattrall is forced to like deal with this whole situation and all of these different cultures and points of views coming in and trying to coexist benjamin your character is trained in mma and you also trained in krav maga for years so was that part of the script originally or was that written in for you that's a very good question. Um, so when I got the, 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 the audition, it, it was a boxer uh, mm -hmm. from Queens. And, you know, I, I, I remember I went to the callback. I had actually had a black guy on the callback because oh, I was yeah. sparring in real life. And I was like, oh, I hope Tate doesn't think this is like makeup or something, you know, like, because it would be so bad. And, uh, and then when I booked it after a while, he, we had the first conversation. I was like, uh, he asked me like, hey, so what weight class would you fight in boxing? And I said, uh, you know what? I, I have never done boxing like uh -huh. professionally or anything. Uh, I think that if anything, I do like MMA because it's this the closest to Krav Maga and mm -hmm. he was just like oh okay let's do that then Alana you've certainly been in so many amazing television shows films you've done theater I've been a fan of yours since Sister Act days and we can't forget about Legally Blonde but how does it feel to be part of these projects that really are part of cinema culture unbelievable sometimes when I book things I can't believe I'm actually there and out of all the other actors I was hired and it's a giant responsibility to me to uh, portray um, characters, especially Latinx characters, correctly and to play them with uh, respect to the culture, with respect to the sophistication of the culture, and with respect to uh, La Gente. Reese had announced a third Legally Blonde. Will your character be making an appearance in this third film? It hasn't been written yet. I really don't know what happens, I'm sure. 
they have wonderful ideas and I can't, I can't wait to see it come into fruition. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there, but I'm excited for everyone to watch you two on Filthy Rich. So can you tell everyone when and where they can catch it? Sundays at 9 Central Time on Fox. Well, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And don't forget to watch next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture.